Hello, Shaven Head viewers. I am Sean Sutherland. You can find me here on YouTube on Sean Suth. Um, this is my first uh, video for the collaboration channel. As you can see right now, I really don't fit in. Get all this growth. Um, if you've been viewers of mine, uh, you would know that I was supposed to go up on the ice roads this year, uh, up in northern Canada. Problem with that is they went from having, I think, over 9,000 loads down to having 1,000 loads. So, unfortunately, because I was going to be the new newbie, the rookie, on the ice this year, <clears throat> I had to get cut. Uh, they took the local guys over the uh, the southern guys, which makes sense. So, anyways, don't mind me. I'm coming off of a really bad cold. Uh, I had it for probably about a week and a half. Actually, I think it's a second cold. I think it was just about over the first cold. Ended up getting a second cold. This year is still bunged up. It's, just, it's been horrible. So, if I'm ca coughing and hacking and wheezing, just pay no attention to it. Now, when you have hair this long, you can't just take a bick and go psh and get it off. You gotta kind of take some trimmers to it, trim it down so that way the uh, the blade will be able to take it off a lot easier. Of course with that, I mean, you've seen barber shops, you know, the floor is just littered with hair. Well, there's a couple of things I was thinking that could take care of this. One, I was thinking I could get my dog's Elizabethan collar and put that on and just kind of trap the hair, but then I thought, well, problem is I can't get back here because the collar would come up like that and really make more of a mess than it's worth. The other thing I was thinking of, I could cut open a garbage bag, put it down on the floor, stand in the one spot, have it all fall, and then just take the bag and close it up and throw it away. Came up with a better idea. Don't do it at home. Go to the hotel your wife works at. Do it in one of the rooms. That way you got housekeepers to clean it up for you, right? It's a pretty good theory. Okay, so first things first, clippers have to come out. I haven't used these things in obviously quite a while. You only need it once your hair actually gets to be too long. Like I said, once the once you get it down, then it's not as bad. I'm going to do my hair first, and I'll tell you why once I get it done. I haven't had hair that long in years. I guess it was 2002. And the, uh, <clears throat> the reason I shaved my head was back in the day. I used to drive highway buses, driving tours of old people, uh, school students, a lot of trips down to Reno from Vancouver, British Columbia, and also did a uh, scheduled run from Vancouver to Seattle, Washington. And uh, had to deal with everybody's luggage day in, day out. Especially with the, uh, the schedule. Does it have a load going down and a load going back up? And of course, when you get to the border, well, first you got to load their luggage underneath the bus when you pick them up. And then you got to uh, drive up to the border and uh, take the bags out there at the border. So that way the people can go in for their for their immigration process. And uh, <coughs> and then you got to load the bags back in, and then once you get them to their terminal take the bags back out so it became a thing of where can I you know start getting rid of some heat and I figured the hair 
was just making myself hotter than it was worth. So it came off. I tried a couple of different razors. I've tried the uh, Gillette Moth 3, the uh, vibrating one. I don't find that it gets my head nice and clean. I've tried this little doodad. It's like the uh, Hot Wheels of, of razors. It's supposed to be a, a head blade. You just stick it like that. You go like this. Good theory, but I found that it was it was actually pointless. It was wasn't doing the job. Um, cool little Hot Wheels uh, wheels on it though. <coughs> Me, I just stick with the old old Bic. Now, apparently, as I've seen on YouTube, there's a right way and a right uh, a wrong way. Whether it's shaving your head or your face or maybe even your legs, I don't know. To me, I've tried following their rules, and my body is no different than the rest of my personality. I can't follow the rules 100%. So I just kind of do how I feel. It feels good. It gives me less irritation and burn. Like I said, the beard will come off as well. I just want to take a look at something. Feels good to have this come off. It's been on for way too long. I think it's been about three months. Two, three months. I think it was November. I can't remember. But that's good enough for now. I think I will do a second pass. Oh yeah, there's a good, good amount of blood up there. Alright. Now, the reason I look like this right now is I've been told by my wife and a few guys that I know that I kind of look like uh, Ryan Clark, the lead singer of a Christian metal band called Demon Hunter. And I think I kind of do, but the thing is he's usually got a full beard, so I wanted to see what I kind of look like with full beard and the bald head. I don't know. I guess I can kind of see it. Can you see it? <sighs> now you might all recognize me. A little bit of blood. Now it's going to be really cold when I go outside. So, yeah, that's a little bit about me. A little bit about my videos. Uh, you know, the trucking and I got some stupid humor on there. I've got a couple of characters I do. Um, might be doing a few more here in the near future. So, if you haven't checked me out yet, uh, click on the uh, link and uh, please, by all means, comment, rate, subscribe, the whole gamut. And uh, until next time, this is Sean Sutherland. Say, make sure you support the bald heads.